Welcome back everyone. Today I am working on painting a helmet. If you're on social media at all, you've probably seen Resto Cycles. He's on Discord, YouTube, TikTok, a lot of places. Uh, he's doing really good content on different mopeds and he needed a helmet. A couple weeks ago he posted on Instagram that he was looking for a helmet. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to paint a helmet for him and see if we could do something cool. He picked up this fly helmet. I believe this is the fly kinetic helmet. I'm gonna sand this down, clean it up, tape it off, and try to make it look cooler than it does right now. All right, this first part kind of sucks. It's annoying. I just try to take everything off that can come off. Well, I just use blue masking tape. All right, so that one's good. Now we just gotta do the bottom. Buy a pack of 100 X-Acto blades and don't use dull ones. Whenever they're dull, just throw them away and use a new one. I got everything masked off and now I'm just gonna sand everything really lightly. Since this is a brand new helmet and it's painted, I don't need to sand it all the way down to the core, to the shell. I can just scuff this up and prime it and paint it. One thing I did notice that if you go to an automotive store or a paint store and buy sandpaper, it is a lot more expensive than if you go to like Walmart. And, it, and Walmart sells the exact same sandpaper, same brand, same everything. So I have everything scuffed. Now I'm just kind of spraying it off. This alcohol is just denatured alcohol. I get it at Home Depot. I like it because it evaporates really fast. And it doesn't leave any residue. So I do use a little tack cloth. And this little tack cloth just gets any of the leftover junk. Right, just like that. I'm using a real nice high build sandable primer. It has been 24 hours since I did the primer. It laid great. I do not need to wet sand it to smooth it out. I am just gonna use this little, uh, it's like a Scotch Brite pad. That's like a thousand grit. And I'm just gonna kind of go over it and smooth down any of the roughness. This is great. It laid absolutely perfect. All right, it is ready for color. I'm using this Rust-Oleum Red. And a tip is that I put this in hot water for about an hour. So the can is actually really warm to the touch. That'll make it flow a little bit smoother and lay down better. I'm gonna let that dry and it should be good to go. I just got all the painting done. There is one little spot right here that I wanna wet sand and smooth out and repaint. But other than that, the rest of it's good. Little areas right here. And I just have some wet sandpaper. And I'm just gonna kinda smooth that out a little bit. I wet sanded this whole area. Now I'm gonna do another color coat and then do one more quick wet sand and then it should be on to taping and clear coat. I am trying to put a logo on the back of this helmet and so I have a logo cut out of vinyl and I'm actually going to uh, put it on like a stencil and paint it and then take the sticker off. Okay. Okay, so now I just have to center this. So we have the white masked off. Now we're gonna paint it red. And then when we pull that off, it'll remain white. Yep. I will have to do two coats. I'm gonna let this flash off for about 10 minutes and I'll come back and do another coat. The red is dry, now I can start taping it off and paint it black. I've got a couple different tapes. This is the main tape I use. Uh, I think this is like an eighth inch thick and it is a, like a vinyl. It's really stretchy. So that's really nice. <clears throat> My hands are washed, 
so it's really clean. And I think I'm just gonna make a little shape like this. So I'm, like... I'm gonna have to use the heat gun and kind of work some of these. This side is all masked off. Anything you see blue will be red, and all the red will be black. So now I just need to do the same thing on the other side. All the masking is done, I'm gonna go paint this black. All right, I painted it black. Uh, it's been a couple hours. Now I can remove the masking. All right, so there is a little spot right here. I think I can fix that with some red on a little paintbrush. And there's a couple little spots right here that I think I can fix as well. Now I just need to finish the back masking and clear coat it. For the clear coat, I'm using Spray Max 2K Extra Glossy. The label came off because I soaked it in warm water. This is actually a two-part urethane paint, uh, just like what they would use on a car. It does have an activation tab. You push this in the bottom, pop it up, and then it actually releases the hardener into the paint. And you have about 24 hours to use this. I'm going to do one quick coat, and then I'm going to take the camera out because this does kind of... Uh, get everywhere and I don't want clear coat all over my camera. Take this little thing like so All right, it made a little noise or release then you shake it for another 30 seconds to a minute Be sure to wear a mask because this is very toxic The clear is dry and now I am just taking off the tape Thank you all for watching. I really hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful, maybe just enjoyable. I'll post a link in the description where you can find Resto Cycles. He has a lot of cool videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and buy me a coffee if you can.